Hey there you guys, uh, Blake back here with another video, uh, automobile related. Um, as you might have searched around on YouTube, you found about a million and a quarter um, videos on Seafoam. Um, I don't know what it is, but the only thing I can... Uh, say it definitely is, is lack of reading um, because the way that these people do the, the job is like what the hell are you thinking you know what I mean like number one revving your motor in your driveway for ten minutes until the smoke stops um, you know revving the shit out of it and you know not waiting the 10 to 15 minutes after you run it through um, before you start the car 20 minutes is even better 25 is great but you can get away with 15 20 just gives it longer time to seep in you don't want to leave it in there very 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 long to seep into your plugs and stuff like that but you know it's it is what it is um where you know if you leave it in there too long it will gum up stuff it's meant to run through the system with vacuum pressure and another thing too is the way I've seen people pouring their seafoam into one of their hoses or whatever um, you know your best bet is to go straight to the source of vacuum and your boost line off your brakes best thing you can do now, to do this right, you may need to feather the feather there the throttle whenever you're sucking up your your uh, sea foam. But other than that, you know what I mean. Um, if you set yourself up correctly and dump the amount that you want to put into your car, which I recommend from for me, I use a half a bottle. Um, put a little bit in the oil if I'm planning on doing a oil change or I'll save that little bit and put it in there right before I uh, go driving around town or whatever and then stopping for oil change you know you can do it anytime you want to but I run it through the gas and I run it through um, the top you know the intake and everything and shoot everything out the exhaust now when the job's done or when you wait your 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, however long you wait, um, you start the car up, and you know at first it might be a matter of uh, keeping it running, depending on how much you use. And another thing is, whenever you are um, going and filling up your sea or taking the sucking your sea foam out you want to dump enough in there right at the, the end of you being done enough to shut the motor off with the sea foam so you want to kill the engine with the sea foam um, that way you know ev you know everything is is good and through the whole system and and saturated everything it needs to saturate just another little tip that you know works for me has worked for me um, every time I do this and you know you will notice a gain of everything acceleration power gas mileage you know your your uh, RPMs will you know get better and everything your temperature everything it works better you know it's cleaning out all those those valves and all the nasty grit and stuff but you guys really you know run your sea foam through the brake booster don't be going through lines and stuff and just dumping it down there if you don't feel no suction or it's not changing the way like if you pull the hose out and it doesn't affect the way the car's running you're not hitting a strong enough vacuum line um you know there are other lines that you can use of course but you know right off the brake booster is you know it's good as it's gonna get and it's right off there you can hear all that suction and stuff 
and you can dump it, suck it, whatever you want. Um, I usually take um, a cup and fill it up and stick it in there, and you know I'm able to hold the cup and the line going on top, and you know keep the RPMs up, and that helps. You know, not 5,000 RPMs, but you know just a little bit to suck it up a little bit faster and get it running through the motor and everything. So whenever you do, uh, you know, then whenever you want it to stall out, you can take your hand off the throttle and just, you know, suck a nice, a nice uh, amount through and shut off the car. Now, um, after that, like I said, you wait your time and let it go through. Um, I like to let it idle and just give it gas here and there, and, you know, not 7,000 RPMs or whatever and then go take it for a nice ride so what if you have white smoke coming out of the back of your car you know if anything happens the law pulls you over or whatever explain to them you're just running a system cleaner with you keep the bottle in your car you know what I mean explain to them if they're any kind of car guy they'll understand you know what I mean as the car sits there and idles on the side of the road it'll clear up um, you ride it five, ten miles, and you know the smoke will dissipate. You might have a little bit, you know, when you come back home and put it in the park. You know, just let it idle, and the more you drive it, it'll, you know, clear out, and uh, you'll have a nicer responding vehicle. Um, no, just really wanted to make this video for all the people that I've seen dump sea foam down all kinds of holes. Uh, Instead of using the hose that goes off the manifold into, um, you know, another line, they'll go and rip the one off the manifold and dump it down there. No, you want to make sure you have good suction. If you got good suction, you can hear that hose in your hand, then you know you're good to go. But, you know, just dumping it down any line into your intake, you know, you can now. Now, if you want to clean your intake, you know, you take some carb or, you know, carburetor or cleaner or whatever and you clean out your intake. But, um, you know, I recommend doing that with it too because you will definitely notice a gain. So while you're buying your seafoam, make sure to pick up a can of uh, carburetor or cleaner, fuel injection cleaner or whatever. Um, you know, it just will help you. And, you know, try and find an old toothbrush and get in there and scrape away spray it, scrape away, and get all that nasty gunk out of there. But the sea foam really, really does a noticeable job. Um, and also another thing too for you uh, pond owners out there with uh, your your idle conditions, you know what I mean? Um, this will help clear out a lot of that because I'm a Honda guy, I got an Acura Integra. Tomorrow I will be doing this. So this is part one of part two in the saga of Sipo where the fuck do I stick this stuff do I put it in a spark plug hole maybe the transmission maybe in a brake line no you put it in the brake booster lines where there's suction or anywhere there's good suction this is uh, Blake signing out have a good one and uh, see foam it up